Right, welcome. This is a video series on how to make money on this freelance marketplace called Legit. And you get to learn it from me, someone who's actually done it before. I've sold around 500K in services on Legit. So I know exactly how to do it and how you can do it as well. And in this video series, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to make money with this platform. There's just one thing, and I wanna be fully transparent with you. I have been banned from this platform because I created my own marketplace. It's called Vetted with three Ts. And we take 0% in fees. We focus on a more higher end or premium type of freelancer. So if you are a more seasoned and experienced freelancer, make sure to join on this link right here, I'd love to have you on. But if you're just starting freelancing, uh, sites like Fiverr and Legit work fine. Again, Vetted is more for a premium type of freelancer, both freelancer and client. The services are more high-end and the platform as a whole is more premium and bespoke. And just to end this intro, uh, anything you learn with this video can be applied on Vetted or any other marketplace. So my goal with this is that you watch the videos and then actually go implement what you learned, ideally on Vetted or you can do it on any other marketplace. Thank you so much and I hope you enjoy. I want to go over acknowledging orders. This is extremely important in the ties in with all the things we've talked about in regards to brand building, trust building, and getting people inside your bubble. So, of course, you need to acknowledge orders always. That's a must. So when a buyer places an order, they want to know, of course, if you got the order and if you have all the info to get started. So, And this is, of course, basic stuff, but some people don't do it, and that's why they're not that successful on these platforms. But uh, for example, if you buy some shoes online, you always expect a confirmation email saying, thank you, your payment went through, uh, we ship your, uh, we're processing your, your order and we'll ship it in uh, two days or whatever. So you wanna, so all purchases you make are always acknowledged. So first step, you wanna acknowledge it. But then after you uh, know that you need to acknowledge an order, it becomes important to know how to acknowledge that order. And in specific on marketplace freelance platforms. So here's how I do it and here's how to do it. The message should include a acknowledgement to the buyer, as you can see here, so hi. Then you can put, for example, the buyer name here. Hi, Steve, thank you for placing an order. Simple, no fluff. Then you wanna tell them that you have all you need to get started. So it leaves the buyer assured. This is really important. You wanna leave them rested that you have everything you need to get started. So you can say something like, I've gone through the info you sent and I have all I need to get started. And then you can throw in a cheeky smile over there. Then you wanna offer your time and help in case they need it, which is what I do here is, if you have any questions, let me know, I'm here to help. And this should be a capitalized I, sorry. Then you wanna sign out professionally, best Vasco, like I do here, and have a CTA or a call to action in this case for my Facebook group. And remember, we are building a community slash brand which will equal, equal more sales in the future because you become an authority in your space. And we have a video just on this, on this brand building on how to do it and why it's important. And this is yet just another contact point to bring in people to your bubble. So this is how I do it. You can uh, have variations of this. And this right here, uh, this is a mistake. This should be on the delivery order uh, video uh, because you can have a CTA to, for review. Um, if you, so for example, you, you deliver an order and you say like, if you like the work, please consider leaving a five-star review. I'm still building up my reputation, so every review helps. So this would be for the delivering an order um, video. So I have it here, I'm not sure why this is wrong, shouldn't be here, but again, but I don't think I included it in the delivery order video. So make sure to add a CTA to a review. But that said, um, this is how you should do it. And I'll show you here an example. So I just got this order. And what I did was just write exactly that message. So acknowledging the buyer. Hi, uh, I should have wrote, written Jason, Justin here. Uh, thank you for placing an order. I've gone through the info you sent me and I have all the, the, sorry, I have all I need to get started. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm here to help. Best Vasco and then the CTA to the Facebook group. So you don't just want to say something like, hi, Justin, thank you for your order. I'll process it as soon as I can. You don't want to say this. The worst thing you can do is not say anything. This is the second worst thing you can do. It has no substance in it, okay? And if you're, wait, and if you're spending time writing a message, you might as well write a proper one, something like this. So you can take this template and, and go from here, but don't write anything too complicated. Uh, be straight to the point. Just make sure you uh, hit all of these uh, points. So acknowledging the buyer, tell them you have everything you need because this assures the buyer so they can be relaxed. Uh, offer them help if in case they need it and sign out professional, of course, and have a CTA for uh, your Facebook group or for your YouTube videos or whatever, uh, just to make sure people uh, join your bubble.
Okay, that's all regarding this uh, video. So make sure again to always join the Facebook group if you have any questions. That's facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash marketplace freelancer. If you have any questions, I'll be inside uh, helping you out. So make sure to join and I'll see you on the next one.